Hydrothermal has a 90-year history as a manufacturer of industrial process heating solutions. Its products blend steam into fluids to reach exact temperatures. Originally designed for the pulp and paper industries, the products are now used in other areas like pasteurizing food or producing high-tech rubber for tires. The company's Beacon project, launched in 2018, offers a disruptive solution to brew beer more efficiently, effectively, and reliably. It is a state-of-the-art brew house that uses Industry 4.0, AI, and machine learning technologies. While trying to innovate in an industry steeped in tradition, Hydrothermal's customers often said, show me, don't tell me. And so the company decided to build its own demonstration brewery to perfect every element of the system. Representing Hydrothermal, please welcome President and CEO Jim Zeiser. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to give a real shout out to the Business Times because we all rely on Business Times for the latest local information. And it's just so nice to have one place where we all go to gather the local, um, what's happening, who's doing uh, something new and different, who's moving, what, uh, whether it's an individual or a business or <clears throat> Um, best practices that we read in the back of the um, magazine every month. Um, this is really just a great place to keep Milwaukee focused on on how we're all doing. So thank you for recognizing talent here locally as well. Um, just great to have an organization like that. So secondly, I just wanted to thank my team. Um, my team is um, at Hydrothermal. They have developed some incredible products. Um, we talked about some fun stuff already um, in the brewing industry. Um, of course, uh, it makes sense to us to think about breweries because well, first of all, we're the Milwaukee Brewers, the best team in baseball, and um, I think. And, um, you know, there's a, been traditionally the Brewers, um, uh, Miller Valley, and all of the breweries that have happened here over the years, Pabst and, and Schlitz and the, and the like. So it makes sense to have this kind of technology locally. Um, and our team is really developing this um, as building our culture of innovation. It means that everything we talk about, everything that we do is innovation, and I wanted to talk about how, how we did that and things that we have to uh, develop that. The third person I wanted to thank is my grandfather, who's not here anymore, but my dad is here. Well, he's here, but he's a snowbird, so he's not here, but uh, he's here in, in spirit. And we've always had the spirit of really commitment to doing our best professionally as a company. We've been working on um, making sure that we're um, really just creating a positive environment for the success and the initiatives that make our company thrive. And we talk about it all the time. My wife and I, um, whether we're on vacation or we're out for a walk or we're um, preparing for the day, um, we're talking about the things that we do as a family to support the company to keep it growing. Um, and. Finally, I'd like to um, just talk for a second about um, this award and why I'm thankful for that. And that is that um, when we get awards like this, um, we're a global company that shares this information um, as we travel around. And it makes a big difference to be able to say in the Milwaukee area that we're recognized as an innovator, just like the other people that are here today. And to go um, around to any place around the world, whether it's Asia or Europe or South America, and talk about the innovation that we value here in the Milwaukee area, that we talk about this, we award for it, we do all the different factors that go into that. It's very th um, I'm very appreciative that, that, that we talk that, about that and prioritize that. Um, so thanks to that as well. So just a quick uh, few thoughts about th this um, technology. We consider this technology a disruptive technology in that we're really trying to change the way beer is made. And um, the net result is the same. So if you like beer, don't worry. We're not going to change the flavor on you, change or anything like that. We're just going to find a much better process to do that. And that's super exciting. Um, it's done more effectively. It's done more efficiently. It's done more reliably. And the beacon, as we call it, is the project of the future in um, brewing beer. Um, it's really um, the best possible way using the latest technology. And we talk about things like industry 4.0, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Um, these are all things that have been um, driven into the, the technology from the beginning um, so that it becomes um, a technology that we can continue to develop as these tech, as things like um, artificial intelligence or um, industry 4.0 become more realistic, we're going to be able to adjust our product line to be able to maximize on these on these um, systems. Um, so 
um, oftentimes I get asked, um, the, the, what's the number one thing that's needed to sustain a culture of innovation? And I think what that is, is, is um, alignment. Um, alignment happens, and we work on this, our executive team, regularly, about making sure that we set a vision for the company of where we're going, setting the vision of what we need to do. Um, and we roll that down through the culture of each and every employee that works with us. Um, it passes all the way through the way we do financial backing for it, how it gets financed. We make sure that we have plenty of our financing organized and ready to go for these innovative projects. And then we continuously improve those to um, optimize every solution until that dream, it becomes the reality. So the result for us in this case has been this Beacon Brewery, which has been pretty exciting. So we start with a vision, and I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into that. What is the vision all about? The vision is thinking big. You really have to think outside the box of how far you want to go when you think vision. It doesn't just mean the first thing that comes to your mind. And so our dream, we said, was to become, as we said, as you heard earlier, the global leader in fluid processing. So you might think, that's a pretty big statement, and especially from a small company like Hydrothermal. Um, we're not like some of the huge players you might think of in this marketplace, like Emerson, um, Siemens, um, Allen Bradley, um, these kind of huge companies that are out there. So some people ask, to be the leader, does that mean you're the largest? And to us, that doesn't mean that you're the largest. It, to us, it means that you're the thought leader. And the thought leader means a few different things. That means you're the most influential in the industry. And to become the thought leader, there's um, seven things that are on my mind. Um, one is that to be innovative, you really have to exercise that muscle of creativity. So it's just like anyone that's preparing for a marathon and um, working your muscles to run a very long distance. Um, or to lift weights or to uh, be on a football team. You, you have to exercise these muscles, and the exercise, the muscle of, uh, your, in your brain for creativity takes consistency. Secondly, um, we, thought, we believe that to be the thought leader, that our product has to be the best product available. We always keep pushing for that product to be better and better and better. Improvements we all the time, never stop. Third, um, our people are experts, and um, we are influential to um, uh, improvements to the change the industry. Fourth, um, fundamental research, and we've used local universities here since 1982 um, on major projects throughout um, the, um, the, the Milwaukee area, and that's what's so great about having so many good universities is that we can use those for our fundamental research. That gets um, converted into number five, which is present new technology and white papers. And just making sure that you're sharing that information with everybody. Everybody needs to know that technology. So everybody's sharing that. And the net result is that um, innovative companies are sharing with other people so that they learn as well. Um, six, there's excitement. Um, engineers, um, you know, you may not think that we're always the most uh, inter uh, exciting people, but we are, and we share a lot of energy. So um, engineers love the excitement of uh, new innovation. And seventh, you must grow, um, whether that's locally, um, globally, in new applications. It's really important to keep things going. So um, the result has been um, uh, realization that innovation will have a huge impact on the brewing industry with significant energy savings, large efficiency gains, and reduced ingredient usage in a very small footprint. Um, and uh, I guess I would summarize it with these three things. Uh, one is you need to think big. Two is you need to be comfortable working on your dream even if you don't know exactly what it is yet. And three, never stop settling for good enough. It's got to keep going. So celebrate like we are today, and you'll find your next major breakthrough as well. Thank you.